Ever had your heart pounding like a drum, anxiety coursing through your veins, yet you remained eerily calm, surprising even yourself? Ever wondered what that feeling was? Welcome, my friends, to the intriguing world of non-reactivity, a trait that makes you as impassive as the calm before a storm. Today we delve into the dark and dangerous world of the Peaky Blinders, where amidst the whirlwind of chaos and danger the man at the helm, the inscrutable Thomas Shelby stands as the epitome of this trait. Who is this man, you ask? Why should you care? Picture it. High-quality visuals reveal a man battle-worn yet dignified, moving with a purpose amidst the chaos, undeterred. He's an enigma, his icy composure disturbingly unnerving to his adversaries, leaving them wondering what his next move will be. This is Thomas Shelby, a whose war-torn past haunts him, yet he uses non-reactivity as his most lethal weapon. Intrigued? So let's explore this fascinating concept together, and understand why it's so powerful, through the life of Tommy Shelby himself. Think about a predator. They're still focused until the moment they strike. Tommy Shelby embodies this principle. In the chaotic world of Peaky Blinders, he uses stillness as a powerful weapon. It's not just about physical stillness, it's a mental state, a way of being that transcends the chaos around him. His enemies, they're unnerved by this. They're left guessing, questioning what his next move will be. It's like a game of chess and Tommy is always two steps ahead. But this stillness, it's not just about strategy, it's a reflection of who Tommy is. A man haunted by his past yet fiercely protective of his future. He's learned to harness the power of stillness, to use it to his advantage. Stillness is a powerful tool in Tommy's arsenal, but it's not his only weapon. Tommy isn't emotionless, he's a complex guy, burdened by trauma yet fiercely protective of his family. So, what's his secret? Well, let's unravel the secrets behind Tommy Shelby's stillness, his non-reactivity in the face of danger. It's a three-part recipe, really, and the first ingredient is mastermind thinking. Tommy's mind is always 10 steps ahead, envisioning every possible outcome. He sees the chessboard of life, and knows each move in advance. This foresight, this ability to predict and plan, allows him to remain calm, even when life throws curveballs at him. The second secret ingredient is emotional detachment. Now this doesn't mean Tommy doesn't feel, oh, he feels all right. But he has this uncanny ability to separate his feelings from his actions. He doesn't let emotions cloud his judgment or dictate his decisions. He's able to detach, to step back, and see the bigger picture. This makes him a ruthless strategist, a formidable opponent in the gritty world he inhabits. And finally, the third element that fuels Tommy's non-reactivity is his undying ambition. He's driven by a desire for freedom, a thirst for power. He's always climbing, always reaching for the next rung on the ladder. He uses his non-reactivity as a tool, a stepping stone on his path to success. It's his shield in battle, his cloak in the shadows. So, there you have it. The secrets behind Tommy Shelby's stillness, his non-reactivity, are not so secret after all. It's all about forward thinking, emotional detachment, and relentless ambition. But remember, Tommy's world is a dangerous one and his tactics are born out of necessity. Non-reactivity is both a tool and a shield for Tommy, helping him navigate the treacherous world he lives in. And while we may not live in the same world as Tommy Shelby, there's definitely something to be learned from his icy cool demeanor and non-reactive approach to life. Tommy's story is an incredible example of non-reactivity, but it's important to remember his background. Let's not forget. He was a man bathed in the fires of war and hardened by the harsh realities of life. His non-reactivity wasn't born out of a desire to suppress his emotions but rather a need to manage them in the face of adversity. But here's the thing, we're not all Tommy Shelby, we haven't all seen the things he has seen, done the things he has done. And that's okay. Because non-reactivity isn't about becoming emotionless. It's about understanding your emotions, acknowledging them and then deciding how you want to respond. Remember it's okay to feel. Happiness, sadness, anger, excitement. These are all part of the human experience. So don't beat yourself up if you're not as stone-faced as Tommy Shelby. We can learn from Tommy's composure, but remember, feeling is a part of being human. What are your thoughts on non-reactivity? Have you ever used it in a tough situation? It's a question worth pondering, isn't it? Non-reactivity, as we've seen, can be a game changer. It can transform a chaotic situation into an opportunity, a crisis into a stepping stone. But it's not just about being cool under pressure. It's about strategic thinking, emotional detachment, and a burning ambition that fuels the stillness. So, we're curious. Have you ever found yourself channeling your inner Tommy Shelby? Have you ever surprised yourself with your composure in a challenging situation? Or maybe you're still learning, still trying to navigate the turbulent waters of life without losing your cool. Either way, we'd love to hear your stories, your experiences, your thoughts, because non-reactivity isn't just for the Tommy Shelbys of the world. It's a powerful tool we can all learn to use, so don't be shy. Share your stories in the comments below. What's your next step towards greatness? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's inspire each other to reach new heights.
Until next time, keep striving, keep growing, and keep believing in the power of your dreams.